So we now have enough information to answer this investigation question for today. How do organisms give off carbon dioxide through this process of cellular respiration? And we're gonna show our understanding of this here next uh, with a model. If you have access to Amplify Online, you're gonna use the modeling tool that you find um, here within activity three, the link is right there. And if you don't have access to Amplify Online or you don't wanna make a digital model, you are welcome to draw your own right there on your paper. Again, our goal of our model today is to show where carbon dioxide in the air comes from. And we wanna do that by including all of the components that are involved in this process, not just one component giving off carbon dioxide, but all of them. And we wanna show that movement of how the carbon dioxide got from these components um, up into the air. And we wanna name the process that's uh, responsible for this movement of carbon dioxide into the air of an ecosystem, as well as the inputs and the outputs of that process. If you recall, we made a model similar to this one um, showing how photosynthesis creates um, energy storage molecules. And we set up that model to kind of mimic what we're seeing in the sim. So if I go to my modeling tool, um, I have the air up here, like we saw the air in the sim. And down below here, I'm gonna set up the components from my options that are involved in this process of getting carbon um, into the form of carbon dioxide up into the air. So if you'd like, go ahead and pause the video at this time and try to show your understanding of where carbon dioxide in the air comes from on your own model and then come back to check your work. All right, so how did you do? Um, I'm gonna think through my model right now, and as I do that, go ahead and check your model in your modeling tool or on your paper. And if there is something that I am showing in my model that is different from your model, um, go ahead and make that change. So again, I am trying to show where carbon dioxide comes from, and I need to start with the components responsible for the process that gets me carbon dioxide into the air. Um, so from the sim earlier, I saw that producers do this. So I'm gonna drag producer over. Uh, primary consumers do this. Secondary consumers, as well as decomposers. Okay, so I have them all set up. And uh, the process by which these four things release carbon dioxide into the air is that cellular respiration process. So I'm going to find that um, and I'm going to add that process or start to add that process to all four. And when I go here to select the process, I need to um, name, is it photosynthesis or is it cellular respiration? And here, since I'm trying to show how I get carbon dioxide into the air, um, I'm going to choose cellular respiration. And right now, this, I'm showing this within my producer. And the um, output that I'm trying to show here of cellular respiration is carbon dioxide. So I'm going to put that in my outputs. And I also know that energy isn't needed as an input in this process, but it is an output of this process. And energy is an output of this process because energy storage molecules or those things that give us energy are the input, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show that all four of these things do this process of cellular respiration. And therefore all four of these things, these components are responsible for releasing carbon dioxide into the air. And remember this energy that I'm putting over here as an output, this is that energy we were talking about earlier um, at the start of the unit where these, these living things need energy to, to grow and to survive and to reproduce. Um, so that's what that output energy here in this process is referring to, okay? So I have my four components 
I have them conducting the process of cellular respiration. I have the inputs and the outputs of that process of cellular respiration in all four of these um, components responsible. Now I just need to show that movement of carbon dioxide from each of these four biotic components into that abiotic air. So I'm gonna select my arrow. Remember in models we um, use arrows to help us show movement. And we wanna pay particular attention to the direction of the arrow. Um, because the arrow isn't going into these things, it's coming out of these into the air. So I wanna make sure that my pointy end of my arrow um, is indeed up, okay? And I have a label on my arrow because that's how my modeling tool is set up, showing that this arrow is representing carbon dioxide. It has that same um, symbol as the carbon dioxide in my air. But if you're not using the modeling tool, you're going to need to add that label. Same thing with cellular respiration, inputs, outputs, you're going to need to add those labels. So double check your model that you have four components of our ecosystem, all labeled, conducting this process of cellular respiration, releasing carbon dioxide into the air. All right, nice job. So now we are ready um, to write to our Econauts and explain to them in words what our model is showing. So at this time, you're gonna pause the video and you're gonna write to the Econauts explaining how your model that we just created shows where carbon dioxide in the air of an ecosystem comes from. And as you write your explanation, we wanna make sure that we're using all of these terms in this word bank as a part of our response, because we just showed all of those things, all of those terms in our model. And we wanna make it really clear to our Econauts what's going on. As remember, they don't have an ecology expert like ourselves as a part of our team. At this time, pause the video and either on your paper or in activity three, write an explanation to the Econauts of how your model is showing where carbon dioxide in the air is coming from. Great work today. So as we reflect and wrap up lesson 2.2, it would be awesome for you to message your science teacher. I know I miss my students so much. I miss seeing them every day and saying hi and um, hearing how they're doing and listening to their science thinking. Um, and I know that your science teacher feels the same way. So message them between now and next class and say hi, just tell them what you're up to. Um, are you playing Animal Crossing? Are you napping? Um, just let them know how you're doing. And while you do that, explain to them this process of cellular respiration and how it works to move carbon from energy storage molecules, which are biotic matter, to carbon dioxide in the air, um, which is the abiotic matter um, of an ecosystem. They'd love to hear all of these awesome and amazing things that you figured out. And if you're curious on knowing more about photosynthesis and cellular respiration, particularly in producers, as that was surprising to us to figure out producers do both of those processes, um, go ahead and complete lesson uh, 2.2 activity five in Amplify Online to read a little bit more about both of those processes. I'll see you next time.